Adding direction to your butters is the next way to up your skills to the next level of buttering. And what I mean by that is that so far we showed you how to butter on the tail and how to butter on the nose in straight directions. Now we're gonna help you move around and actually turn those butters. There's a couple of different techniques that work for this. The first technique is by adding a little bit of edge to your board as you initiate a butter will create um, a direction. So for example, a toe edge will help to initiate momentum into the backside direction and a heel edge will help you initiate momentum into the front side direction. The other thing is what happens with your upper body makes a big difference. For example, right as I'm about to butter, if I kind of wind up and release my upper body this way, it's gonna help project momentum into that backside direction. Let me show you how that works. Right now, I'm getting ready to butter on a snowboard and I'm putting that little bit of weight on the toe edge just to start the momentum, wind up, ollie, boom, land switch right away. So that there is a buttering trick. That is a tail butter backside 180, which is something that you can do on the mountain. Slide this trick around a switch and it looks cool. Simple, easy, playful trick that looks good. Um, you can do this, of course, in any direction. So I'll do the same thing right now. I'm gonna do a, a tail butter in the front side direction. The only real difference is this time I'm creating a little bit of momentum, uh, a little bit of direction by using my heel edge and projecting a little bit of front side momentum by using my upper body. So watch this, tail butter, 180 coming around to switch. So it's a little tail butter and on a snowboard you can slide that more and you can take as long as you want. I'm gonna draw on the nose, here we go. Boom. On a mountain you could slide that for 20 feet, 30 feet, whatever you want. Switch. And you'll see, I'm starting that momentum by using a little bit of upper body and playing around with the different edges. If I just go into a tail butter and I start to open up my body this way and put a little bit of weight on my heel edge, it's gonna project you in that way on a snowboard. If I go this, if I go into a tail butter, close up my upper body, like kind of backside direction and put a little bit of toe edge, that there on a snowboard is gonna spin you around in that direction. These are different ways you can start playing around, adding direction to your butters on a training board so that you can do this on a mountain, on a snowboard. Thanks for watching. This is Nev Lapwood from Snowboard Addiction. Our goal is to improve your writing.